Hi everyone. Through this class, we are going to explain the construction and working of 4-bit parallel subtractor. The combinational circuits which are used to subtract two binary numbers are called subtractors. When the binary numbers to be subtracted are of single bits, then we can use a half subtractor for getting the result. If we need to subtract three binary numbers of single bits, among which two will be inputs while the other will be the borrow, we can use full subtractor. But if we want to subtract two n-bit binary numbers, then we need a n-bit parallel subtractor. A digital circuit that is used to calculate the arithmetic difference between two binary pairs of bits is known as a parallel subtractor. The designing of this subtractor can be done in different ways. Using combinations of full subtractors, half and full subtractors or full adders. In this class, we are going to study how a parallel subtractor is designed using full adders. For subtracting a binary number B3, B2, B1, B0 from another binary number A3, A2, A1, A0, one method is to find the two's complement form of this B3, B2, B1, B0. Then add the result with binary number A3, A2, A1, A0. Two's complement of a number can be obtained by taking one's complement of the number and then by adding one to its least significant bit. Suppose A3, A2, A1, A0 is 1001 and B3, B2, B1, B0 is 0110. Then 1001 minus 0110 is this 1 minus 0 is 1. Then subtracting this 1 from this above number, borrow 1 from the next digit. So from this 1, 0, we borrow 1. Then here it is 1, 0. 1, 0 minus 1, it is 1. After subtracting, here it is 1. So 1 minus 1, it is 0. Here it is 0. So 0 minus 0, it is 0. So our answer is 0, 0, 1, 1. And we can perform same subtraction using two's complement addition method. For this, we take the one's complement of the subtrahend. For getting this one's complement, change zeros into ones and ones into zeros. So this number subtrahend, one's complement is the zero we change into one and ones into zeros and this last zero into one. Then add 1 to this 1's complement, then we get 2's complement of subtrahend. So 1 plus 1, it is 1, 0. So the answer is 1, 0, 1, 0. That is 2's complement of our subtrahend. Now we add this 2's complement and this menu end together. So our menu end is 1, 0, 0, 1. 2's complement of subtrahend that is 1010. So when we add these two together, it is 1 plus 0, 1. 0 plus 1, again 1. 0 plus 0, 0. 1 plus 1, 1, 0. Now discard this carry. Here this 1 is carry. So when we discard it, then we can see that our answer is 0, 0, 1, 1. This is same as the 0011. Therefore, for subtracting one binary number from the another, we can add two's complement of the subtrahend to the minuend and discard the carry. A parallel subtractor we can construct using full orders. For getting 4-bit parallel subtractors, we need four full orders like this. If we want to construct n bit parallel subtractor, then we need n number of full orders like this. Here, for getting 2's complement of this uh, subtrahend B3, B2, B1, B0, 
First we take the ones complement of that number. Then we are going to add one to the least significant bit. So for getting ones complement of subtrahend, we can connect not gates to invert the bits in the full order. So for inverting B3, we connect it to a not gate. B2, another not gate. For B1, another not gate. And B0, another not gate like this. Now the input for this, second input for this full order is B3 bar, B2 bar, B1 bar and B0 bar. And for adding 1 to the least significant bit of 1's complement, we can provide a large high or 1 input as its carry in. So, for this parallel subtractor, carry in is 1. Note that for parallel adder, carry in is 0. But here it is 1. Suppose, our A3, A2, A1, A0 is 1, 0, 0, 1. And B3, B2, B1, B0 is 0, 1, 1, 0. Then we give 1 and 0 as A3 and B3. So here we give 1 and 0. Then A2 and B2 are 0 and 1. So here we give 0 and 1. Then our A1 and B1, they are 0 and 1. So here we give 0 and 1. Then A0 and B0 are this 1 and 0. So here we give 1 and 0. Then in this uh, parallel subtractor, always C in is 1. So we give this 1 here. When a 0 is applied here, then here it is 1. So inputs for this full order are now 1 and this 1. And here this 1 will appear as 0. So the inputs for the second full order are 0 and 0. And for third one, this 1 changes into 0. So the input bits are 0 and 0. And for the fourth full order, the 0 will change into 1. So the inputs are 1 and 1. Now consider this first full order. For this full order, A bit is 1, B bit 1 and C input is 1. And we know that the sum output is A XOR B XOR C. Here there are three ones. So the output will be, it is odd in number, so the output will be 1. And for the carry out, the expression is A B or B C or A C. Here A 1 B 1. So 1 and 1, it is 1. Then B C, it is 1 and 1, again 1. And AC 1 and 1, it is again 1. So 1 or 1 or 1, the output will be 1. And for the second full order, here the inputs are 0, 0 and 1. So odd number of 1 in the input, so again the output will be S1 will be 1. Then Combining the 0 and 1, 0, 0 and 1, 0, 0 and 0, again 0. So AB or BC or AC that is equal to 0. So C1 in this case or carry output for second full order is 0. Then take the third full order. Here the inputs are 0, 0, 0. No 1 input. So S2, 0. And carry also equal to 0. 0 and 0, 0, 0 and 0, 0, 0 and 0, 0. When we take OR of this, then it is equal to 0. Then for the last full order, C2, that is the carry in, that is 0. Then the inputs are 1, 1 and 0. So there are even number of 1s. So S3 equal to 0. Then for this carry, it is 1 and 1, 1, 1 and 0, 0, this 1 and 0, again 0, so 1 or 0 or 0, so carry out in this case is 1. We can discard this carry out, 
then we can see that our output is 0, 0, 1, 1. This is same as the 0, 0, 1, 1. So, it is clear that we can construct a 4-bit parallel subtractor using 4 number of full orders like this. Not that carry in in this case is 1. Advantages. The operation of parallel subtractor is faster compared to that of serial subtractor. And it is not expensive. In a chain process, each full order must wait for the carry of the previous order. So, processing time is high. And delay will be more if there are large number of full orders. So, it is not suitable if there are large number of input bits.